All right, the first challenge, driving on the left side of the road. Now the actual driving on the left isn't that bad. The tricky part is how narrow these roads are. My dad calls it dodgems, and you're literally weaving in and out between traffic because cars park everywhere, and sometimes there's only room for one car to go by. So, wish me luck. A special episode for you guys today. We are in Colin Furs' garage. I suppose I should hop in. And we've also got James Bruton from X Robots here. So we're going to hang out for the day. Yep, I'm going to try and get these guys to start a pulse jet engine uh, because loads of people seem to have trouble with it and they want to see one running. It's a perfect video, really. Let's do it. Alright. There we go. So here we are in the shed. His eye. <laughs> what's charged, what's not burned? That's the next question. Cool. That's all good. And the kind of less ear piercing they are, mm. whereas this one seems to be at just the right size, where it's like, ow, <laughs> that's hurting, sort of thing. So this and the bike are probably the loudest. Might whip that off. All right, the bunker. Mm -hmm. That swing must have been quite a sight to see, especially from the yeah. neighbours. <laughs> now apparently they're not too bad with it. Because it's not permanent, so it's not like yeah. building the Eiffel Tower and you've got them leaving it there forever. <laughs> oh, did not even see that. the bunker. One handed. Ooh. Oh man. This is fantastic. Such an amazing bunker. <laughs> Never be able to get the permit in Canada to do something like this. Yeah, right. <laughs> Or 
So we're just getting the uh, gas bottle out the back of the amplifier as you do, because we're going to need this for the pulse jet. I wonder if that's empty or not. I'm on a little bit here. Uh oh. That work? Does this thing auto lock? Oh yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? It auto locks. It nothing happens. Bench. Yeah. When the ball of fire potentially comes out of it, it goes away from you. Uh, well, we're going to set fire to the grass here. I wonder. Let me just hold the camera and this. See how it goes. Yeah. Right. Ten eighty p. But if it's really hard to start, it normally means you've got your low on gas because the bottle yeah, pressure is constantly right, right. always it's kind of decreasing sort of thing mm -hmm. as you're trying to do it and then you you've just find it a moving target. Right, so you've got GoPro there. Yeah, I'm just gonna you've got that. put it somewhere. There's a wide shot. Right, let's give this a go then. Let's see if we can have any success today. Let's stop at the leaking first. <laughs> <laughs> now then the key is we've got to get the flame to come out here to start off with, not there. So now it might if it shoots back and goes bang, yep. don't worry. It'll make me jump because I'm like a mega jumpy person, but it's that's not something it shouldn't do, but it doesn't always do it, so. Uh, we need to put some diesel in here. First go successful. That was awesome. Uh, a bit loud. It's loud. Let's let it, uh, let it cool down a little bit. That's probably 60% throttle maybe. I'm okay. not sure. It's hard to tell. And what kind of uh, thrust output? Any uh, that roughly? one's probably only got about 50 pounds. Uh, so for the how, you know, they're massively inefficient. Hence why we've not all got them on cars and aeroplanes. <laughs> but they're good fun because they make a lot of noise. I can't argue with that. No. Alright, so it's my turn to try and get this pulse jet up and running. And probably got the best teacher available. Right, so what you need to do, I'll turn the gas on, you yep. switch it, it remains off here. Okay. And then you give it a tiny little bit. You light it so you've got a flame coming out here. And yep. once you've got a little flame or whatever, you can you can turn it up a little bit. But no, you never turn it full on. Okay. So only like a tiny bit and then you get your leaf blower and you kind of gently start to bring it in. Now, if you see a flame coming out there, yeah. you've got too much fuel or you need to give it a bit more leaf blower. So then you kind of need to back it off until that disappears. If you start to get black smoke, you know you're nearly there. Okay. So it's kind of a, it's a balancing out between air and fuel. And then yeah. once you two match up, it'll just pop into life. So the key thing is to look at that. If you've got like flame or too much heat coming out here, yeah. you're just blowing it all around there and it's not happening where you need it to be. So you need to either back off that or put a bit more air in. So you're kind of like maneuvering around a little bit. But I mean, I'll stand here yeah. with you and I'll just say, 
Right, less. right let's, let's think of a... If, I, if I'm going like that, that means less fire. If I'm going over here, well, less air. Less air, okay. Yeah. And then I suppose if that's more, that's more. Yeah, simples. Perfect. Simples. Let's do it. Right. Now I'm going to reshoot that again. <laughs> on my camera. Cool. The fact it's hot as well. Do you want to stand there, uh, stand behind it for a minute? Oh, I'll just, I'll just say that and any one of you could jump in for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, I've got quite a few emails from people that have made pulse checks, but they can't get them to start. So I've got two helpers today. We've got the Hacksmith from the Hacksmith channel, and we've got James Bruton from X Robot. So I'm going to try and get them to start this lovely pulse jet here. Right, let the lesson begin. This, uh, I can't remember whether the valve's melted and doesn't work. Oh no, I've put a new one on it. <laughs> ah. Fear not! Oh, your palette's on fire. Oh, it's on fire! This is exactly what happens on my <laughs> channel. Things burn! Cheers, guys. Cheers, Colin. James Bruton That's from awesome. X Robots. Like I say, he makes robots and crazy stuff in his attic. And lights the... pulse jets first go. And lights pulse, <laughs> pulse jets first go. The Hacksmith is kind of like the Canadian version with me. All sorts of other stuff. Go and check their channels out. Brilliant. Hopefully that made sense of how you light a pulse jet. If it didn't, I've just done a very poor job of editing and explaining the whole process. Excellent. And then All you just right. cut right now to moonwalk out of shot. Moonwalk out of shot. <laughs>So how old is this? It's nearly this 10 years left old. Of it. Damn. This, this, this was kind of where it all began. Um, A historic site. Yeah. So, because it is my 10, 10 year anniversary in November. That's when I first started my YouTube channel. Congratulations. So, you go, the more rocks yeah. I climb and... Uh... So I'm standing on top of Colin's oldest project, the Wall of Death. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, yeah, it's called the Wall of Death. Yeah. This is, this is pretty much where it all started. This was like the first project which was kind of filmed with YouTube in mind. So there was a build process, two build videos. Uh, no, it's one build video, one video of me crashing, and, um, and then another video of me riding it properly. But I think if somebody suggested it now, I'd probably say, no, I'm not doing it now. But, uh, but there we are, don't matter, I've done it. And now it's just slowly falling to pieces. That's awesome. I feel like this is a historic site. Yeah, it's not doing too bad for 10 years, is it? No. Google Earth, it looks like a big magnifying glass. Like there's the handle. <laughs> and it's got like, this, uh, this circle. There we are. Right. Selfie picture or whatever. Sure. Selfie. I was going around like, trying to pull my head towards something. Like You've got a flat like warehouse and all the pallets there and they're all the same size. You can probably knock it together and put it down. It's not. Yeah. It's not hard, is it? It's just yeah. a bloody circle. Ply lining it with ply was, was quite time consuming. Because you, you have to have somebody like lowering it down and holding it. And bits so and are all these skids just screwed down? 
They wrap it there, or how's that work? Yeah, yeah. they've just got nail, they're nail gun. But the biggest problem is because they weren't all exactly the same pallets, they all started to, do you know what I mean? If one would skew it out, sort of thing, so you'd have to try and nightmare. And the field, of course, is not perfectly level. But, but then that's half the joy of it, wasn't it? Unfit for purpose. Every bite down there. Yeah, <laughs> we thought about a door, then we thought it would be a weak point, yeah. and then potentially some, one of somebody would open it while I'm going around or something, or it would collapse or something. So, but yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. And there we are. It's still got a dick painted on it. Yeah, it's taking its own time. It's still got a dick painted on it. <laughs> Use this bit, baby. 